We really don't know what caused it, but the fact is they were able to, quote, separatists were able to shoot down an aircraft at 21,000 feet, uh, shows that there was capabilities. Um, uh, I, I do not want to leap to any conclusions because we, as you mentioned, it could be an explosion, it could be all kinds of reasons, but if it was uh, a, a missile that took this plane down, then it has to be a very sophisticated weapon system, and the Ukrainians do not have that capability. So. Um, if it is the case, then we're going to have to act in, uh, and act in the most uh, stringent fashions, including real sanctions, including giving the Ukrainians the ability to defend themselves, which we have not done so far. It did seem for a time that Vladimir Putin had, uh, at least according to published reports, uh, withdrawn a number of his forces, but it does seem over the last uh, several weeks or so that those forces uh, have been rebuilding along the uh, along the border. And more disturbing than that, they've shot down several aircraft, as you know, over the last uh, few weeks, including the transport that was as high as 21,000 feet. I think Putin was uh, uh, disappointed that he didn't get more support, both in eastern Ukraine, Odessa, other parts of uh, southern Ukraine, uh, but most of us who get to know Vladimir uh, figured that he was not going to give up easily and that he would continue to try to foment uh, disorder in eastern Ukraine, which, as we all know, is the most important part of the Ukrainian economy. Uh, so I never believed he was going to go quietly, but I, it's impossible to assume that he believed that something like this would do anything but have the most negative effects.